the flow sports radio Matthew Shack in the Flow Sports Radio Show, episode 99. We got 99 problems, but this show ain't one. But I'm going to tell you who do got a problem. It's the homie. It's the homie, man. Michael Vick. Michael Vick has a problem. You know what I'm saying? Michael Vick went and told Colin Kaepernick what he needed to do to get back into the NFL is to cut his hair. You know what I'm saying? That right there, we got to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So basically what happened, if you don't know, former Falcons quarterback Michael Vick went on Fox Sports 1 and went on the show that got Jason Whitlock. Okay, we ain't going to get into Jason Whitlock. We ain't going to do that. Anyway, he went on there, man, and was basically given a loaded question by Jason Whitlock, man. Charlemagne, Charlemagne put something on his ass for a reason. Go, go watch that donkey of the day, okay? Anyway, let me get back to it, man. Every time I talk about that cat, man, I, 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 I get hives, you know what I'm saying? I start itching, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back to it. He was on the show uh, with Jason Whitlock talking about Colin Kaepernick and he said the reason why he ain't in the NFL is that he needs to redo his image and one of the things he should start with is cutting his afro. So I had to think about that for a second, man. He's being drug all over social media, all over the internet, all over here on YouTube, everywhere else about why would you basically tell that man to cut something that has nothing to do with his play in the NFL. So, let me ask. Okay, let me show y'all. I got black Michael Vick. And I got white Michael Vick. Okay? Let's let, let's start with black Michael Vick. Okay? Black Mike, let me get closer. Black Michael Vick. Wasn't he the cat that had braids? I remember him having braids all the way back. You know what I'm saying? I remember him carrying the gold medallion. I remember him being straight up black power with his. And he didn't seem to have a problem. But as soon as the homie got hemmed up behind them dogs, and that didn't have nothing to do with black Michael Vick's hairstyle, though. Okay? But we're going to get to that. All right? So ever since then, he got out of prison. Salute to that. You know what I'm saying? For those that are behind the wall, come back out. You, you done paid your pensions, it's time to get your opportunities again. So he came back and he changed his image. You know what I'm saying? He cleaned himself up, did what he needed to do, and he he he, he turned he turned into this. He turned he turned into white Michael Vick in regards to him getting his image and he got back in the league. Now, none of this is new. That's why y'all listen to the Flow Sports Radio Show. None of this is new because there's a cat who started all of this years before. And he goes by the name to answer, Allen Iverson, okay? Allen Iverson went through this same thing. I'll show you right here on this Allen Iverson 98 edition uh, starting lineup doll that I've had since then. I bought this when he was a rookie. So let me show you. Look at this. Do you see Allen Iverson's hair? It looks like he has a nice Caesar cut lined all up. You know what I'm saying? There's only one problem with that. Why does Allen Iverson have, why does Iverson have the braids? Why does he have the twisty twist? Why, why, why in the back does he have, have the cornrows put on the NBA official license, NBA official license? Doll, the first one they ever made an AI. Why, why, why is he rocking the Caesar? That's exactly what this Michael Vick is talking about. He's saying, you want to play, homie? You got to cut the fro. You know what I'm saying? But this Michael Vick 
was like this Allen Iverson, okay? And the only thing I got to say about all that is that this Allen Iverson, he never cut his hair for the NBA. The NBA had to do this. They did this. He didn't cut nothing. Michael Vick cut his hair, okay? So at the end of the day, man, it is what it is in regards to that. Now, Colin Kaepernick came back with the clap back talking about the Stockholm Syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Which in layman's terms means that you begin to love your oppressor or love who's holding you back. And you wind up sticking up for him and you wind up making excuses for him. You know what I'm saying? The same thing going on with this R. Kelly situation in regards to these women that are allegedly being held against their will and families is coming all out. That's a whole nother television show right there. You know what I'm saying? That's on. Y'all know what it is. Y'all want to see what that is? Y'all go over there and you look on the other playlist that's called Y'all Know What It Is. I will be getting to that. But we're talking sports right here. So with that being said, man, Colin Kaepernick really made it, made it very clear. You know, he shouldn't have to cut his hair. But this Michael Vick right here says he ain't been playing so well. So that's the reason why. So if that's the case, when Colin had his pro, what was the problem? The problem is... He ain't playing well and they don't need him right now. So I think if I was Colin Kaepernick, I wouldn't cut my damn hair. Cause it ain't gonna do you no good. You cutting your hair is gonna basically admit that you was wrong all that time. You know what I'm saying? You'll get a job, but your hood pass will be permanently revoked. You will not be able to go and get no, no type of soul food in none of these metropolitan cities anywhere in the country without people looking at you crazy. So Colin, Keep it, keep it pimping, you know what I'm saying? Keep it P.I. till you D.I., you know what I'm saying? Do what you do. But I'm a little disappointed because this is the Michael Vig I like right here. The the, the, the Braves that didn't give a damn, the the the, uh, the, the quarterback that ran for 1,060 uh, 1, uh, yards uh, and threw for 2,000 yards or 2,000 yards. That's the guy I like. This dude right here, this Michael Vig. This Michael Vick giving bad advice, man. And if you wanted to say something to the to, to the brother, if you wanted to say something to Kaepernick, what you should have did was contact Kaepernick and talk to him directly. I don't believe in all this getting on TV and using somebody else's notoriety to keep yourself in the public eye and keep you hot, keep you lit. You didn't really want to help him. You shouldn't even have spoke on it. But you went on the show with Jason Whitlock. That's why you got in the situation you in now, that's why you looking crazy to the homies, okay? Everybody in the barbershop is already saying, Vic, you kinda, you kinda, you kinda, you kinda shucking and jiving, homie. You kinda tap dancing, you know what I'm saying? You kinda buck dancing on that, all right? I, I, Michael Vic, that's, the man, when he was balling, he was the man, okay? But this guy right here, I don't know who this guy is, man. At the end of the day, man, don't speak on somebody else, man. Don't talk about, don't talk about what somebody else needs to do, man. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't gonna try to help them, you getting on TV ain't helping that brother, man. Straight up, that's where I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Their situations are totally different. One guy went to prison for dog fighting, and another dude refused to stand up for the national anthem. That's not even equal. You know what I'm saying? So to be honest, you need to go get uh 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 somebody else. You need to get uh, 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 Ahmad Raouf uh, over there in the NBA. I know I said that brother's name now. Mahmoud. Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. That's who you need to bring on the show. Go get Mahmoud, a.k.a. Chris Jackson, the guy who got in trouble with the NFL, NBA for not standing up, for not, you know, doing the national anthem. That's the guy you need to talk to. You don't talk, you don't talk to this guy. You don't talk to him. Okay? And you can't talk to him because he ain't he ain't around no more. So the only other person you can talk to is the answer. Go get the answer, see what the answer got to say. Cause he didn't approve this this right here. This is the AI I know. Let me show y'all. That's AI. So that's all I got to say about that. Okay? We need to stop with the foolishness and the buffoonery and the coonery with that. I don't like it, and I'ma speak on it, and that's it, that's all. But until then. Look, man, this is a Michael Vick that need to be back. Get your cornrows back, Vick. You know what I'm saying? Forget this cat. This cat ain't handling this.
Stir Crazy Productions, baby. When my grandmama gave me that chain. What chain? Yeah, what chain? <laughs>